Hello everybody. In this short video, we are going to learn how to install Audiofire's libraries in a Windows computer. After your purchase, you have received an email from Fastspring, which includes links to download the files. We recommend WinZip application to unzip all the files because it does not create unnecessary double folders. You can use also the Windows unzipper, but some cleanup will be necessary afterwards. The links will expire in seven days. And also please read the whole email because it contains very important information and especially for Windows users. But now let's go back to links and click on each of them and save the resulting file to the downloads folder. Now, depending on the size of the library, the downloading might take quite a long time. So for that reason, I'm going to speed this video up. Now we can locate the downloaded files and see that we have one main folder. And depending on what product you purchase, you will find several samples folders. As mentioned earlier, we are going to use WinZip. So first I need to right click on the zip file and then choose unzip to. I'm going to choose my music library drive, which contains all my contact libraries. So I click unzip and WinZip will do the rest, creating a new folder for my library inside the desired drive. So I will repeat the same procedure also for all the sample folders, but this time I will choose the newly unzipped folder that WinZip just created, and I will select it as the new location in which I want my sample folders to be unzipped. This will take some time depending on the size of each sample folder, and I shall remind you that you have to repeat this process for each sample folder. When all the files have been unzipped, I will be presented with this file structure. So I will double click on the NKI file and the library will load. At this time, the library is already working and ready to use. But it's a good practice to save it in order for next time to be faster when you load it. We need to save only the patch, not the samples and unclick the Absolute Path box and press Save. To install the snapshots, we click on the wrench, then Instrument option, locate the Snapshot tab and press Show. Then we are prompted to create a snapshot folder for the library and a new window will appear. Then we locate the snapshot folder included in our package and drag and drop all its contents inside the snapshot window that just appeared. So now we can close all the windows and contacts tabs and go back to the main interface of the library. At this point, I can load any preset I want and enjoy my new library. 